Aloha everyone, Scott Sullivan, welcome to you live from Sacramento, California. It's March 30th, 2016, 11, 10 in the morning, perfect day to talk about self-training, right? So this weekend, I'm watching a movie, I'm watching Fight Club, I mean, come on, it's a cool movie, it's older, but still a fun movie to watch. And there's a scene in the movie that, de that relates a lot to sales. And what it is, is there's a point where Project Mayhem is about to start, and the, the guys go and they have to stand on the porch. And Brad Pitt's character, you know, Tyler Durden comes out. And he starts yelling at the guys, like, get off the porch, you're not good enough, you can't do this, get off the porch. And then, so like the guys are about to pack up and walk away, and Edward Norton's character comes over and goes, hey guys, hang out a little bit longer, it's okay, you know, everything's going to be alright. And I was sitting there watching the movie, and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's, that's, like, that's what sales is. A lot of times, you know, your buyers, they're pushing against you, and it's a test. They're waiting to see what's going to happen. So Brad Pitt's character, which is Tyler Durden, is like a lot of your buyers, they're waiting to see if you're just gonna pack up and go away with just a little bit of pushing, right? And a lot of times salespeople do. They, they don't get that, you know, it's part of the flirting process of the buying process is that the buyer's gonna push some resistance onto you and then you're supposed to just kind of stand there and, and take it for lack of better terms. But a lot of times it just happens in the rejection process too is that the salesperson believes that that little bit of pushback is like the, the definite answer. And a lot of times what it is, is it comes down to nervous energy from the buyer. So here's my challenge for you. I challenge you to watch uh, Fight Club and look for the scene where they're at the porch. It's like towards the end of the movie, middle towards the end. And they're get, about to get kicked off the porch, right? And just think about how many times that you've been in the sales process and you've stuck with it. You've been patient now. Look, 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 look. I'm not saying being arrogant. I'm not saying be a jerk. I'm not saying be condescending. What I am saying is pay attention because a lot of times the buyers are going to give you some pushback. That's them telling you to get off the porch, right? And then, like, in the back of your mind, you got to go, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to leave yet. They're just supposed to give me some pushback. Now, a lot of times in the objection process, salespeople misunderstand nervous energy for what really an objection is. It may not even be that the person has an objection for the process, the product, the widget, the gizmo, whatever you have to sell. They just are like they're talking out loud, and the salesperson's like, well, i got to overcome an objection. Well, there never really was one to begin with. It could just be like a, a statement, like, wow, that's a lot of money, right? It's not an objection. It's a statement. It's nervous energy from the buyer. It's a lot of money, right? But salespeople automatically pounce on it. They're like, oh, well, how much were you thinking it's going to be? Well, that puts that person in a negotiation mode. So pay attention to what's going on. If somebody's coming onto your porch and telling you to get off, right, get off the porch, get off the porch. Just know it's normal. It's nervous energy from the buyer. You're going to be okay. Just do what you're supposed to and overcome the objection, okay? So go watch the movie, check it out, and you'll be like, man, Scott, that's brilliant, right? I never thought of Fight Club being a movie on sales, but it is, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that would be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do. You gotta subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn? Scott Silvenbell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.